Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today is going to be yet another lore video because these are very very fun to make and very interesting to read into the lore. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So uh, yeah. Uh, today's character is going to be Zeletu. Last time we've discussed about um, Valyria and we've seen how she was considered the perfect match between an orc and a human uh, because she was born a human but uh, raised an orc. So that was an interesting story to read. And uh, before that we talked about um, about Lust and we discussed her looks and her story and watched a video and actually the story was intertwined with the video. So let's see if this is the case with Zilitu as well. Zilitu is as described here as irresistible as she is deadly. Zilitu scorches enemies and eviscerates those with full health. So um, this is pretty interesting. She has like she's the one def that definitely has a succubus look. She has this interesting throne over here. This is this interesting uh, scepter over here with the horns, with the wings, devilish e wings, and it seems like her spine uh, goes up through her waist and then turns into a tail, which is quite an interesting concept, right? She seems to have some bony chest plate and very, very wide shoulders, which is quite an interesting look. You would think that she's some type of uh, demonic princess or queen. But uh, so we thought about Valyria, right, to be some type of queen or princess, and she actually wasn't. Uh, so some prediction about predictions about Zilletu in terms of story. I think she is going to be some um, some um, demon looking for for or that already has beef with someone. I know that uh, before reading the story, I've heard some uh, some people say that she actually has some beef with arrogance and uh, we'll see if that's the case in her story so i think she's she in uh, since i've already seen her video before i think she has some dealings with magical huge magical beasts she's since she's been fighting a dragon in the video as well that looks very similar to the guild boss dragon i assume it's exactly the same one and probably she has some things to do with torturing because the the tail looks very tortury like right she has this uh, this end that can actually impale something she has a scepter that looks like an impaler actually uh, like a pole arm or something so yeah let's let's get into the story so zillet is also called the infernal the infernal temptress so the story moth to a flame uh, aldos tourmaline chief demonologist says she is desire and death incarnate may the gods protect us when she enacts revenge okay so something with revenge Fiercely passionate and irresistibly seductive, Zilitu, the Infernal Temptress, is among the most ancient and powerful demons of Tia. At the inception of the universe, when all was chaos, the raw energy and emotion of the cosmos eventually settled into sentient spirits that would come to be worshipped by the early peoples of Tia. Multiple ancient texts refer to Zilatu as one such powerful spirit associated with intense passion, destructive fury and tremendous might. All sources recognize Zilatu's powers of seduction and note how she has come to bear children for a number of other chief demons effectually cre creating Tia's most irresistible succubae, respected and considered intimidating by the other demons of Tia, her spawns now spread misery and terror as she schemes her race to power. Often omitted from legends, however, are the events surrounding her broken heart. Long ago, Zilitu seduced a powerful archangel who fathered her first son, Zuro. This half-angel, half-demon hybrid child was so beautiful and mighty that she knew he would one day rule the cosmos. But when the gods learned of the corrupted archangel and their forbidden spawn, they smote them both, shattering Zilitu's heart. 
Consumed with rage, she took up her lover's mighty lance and swore vengeance on all those who lived in the favor of the gods, vowing to turn her pain into a weapon. The multitudes of offsprings she has borne since then have been twisted into evil, lesser demons that spread horror across all of Tia, chiefly assisted by Zilitu's hedonistic second and third born sons Azoth and Sorzus. Her legions of succubi roam uncontested, bearing even more evil servants for her cause. What's more, Zilitu often sends her servants to steal children from those blessed by the gods, turning them to her cause as she plots revenge from the infernal volcano. Here, she schemes to avenge her late lover and son, seducing her followers with power and vowing retribution against the gods. So, this is nothing that I've expected, but it's quite interesting, right? Like, she actually bare a firstborn child with an archangel, right? That is pretty interesting, and it would be really cool if uh, Moonton would create some archangel heroes in the future, right? Because I don't think we have some angelic figures in the Moonton universe yet. I think we have the uh, chaotic faction, which is supposed to be the enemy for the Supreme Arbiter, so these are like the angelic, let's say, uh, characters, but only Valkyra seems to have some type of wings, but she isn't necessarily an angel or portrayed as an archangel. And Mr. Pope over here, Praetus, doesn't even have wings, even though he's supposed to be some type of spiritual or uh, sp spirit of light figure. So going back to Zilitu, um, going back to Zilitu, it was quite an interesting story. Uh, I think it would be really nice to see that Archangel, uh, even though supposedly he has been smited down by the gods, uh, it would be nice to see him maybe resurrected or something. And it's nice to see that she borrowed something from, from him, like we can see uh, a part of her, uh, a part of her um, story into her wardrobe, let's say, or armor. So let's see if anything from the story actually um, goes into the video itself. So let's go into the video. So here is the guild boss. She sits on a throne, pretty bored it seems. Yeah, I think this video was just supposed to be a representation of how she is supposed to be used because many people use her in the guild boss and many have called her the guild boss queen. So let me turn down the music uh, really quickly before we end up the video. So um, she is an interesting character. I think she's uh, interesting enough to add a little bit to her story because it's rather short but we'll see if actually we'll be able to get some more insights into her character through other stories as well i think next story is going to be arrogance since uh, they might be or i've heard that my they might be related or something so it would be nice to look into it and um, yeah i hope uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think about her and uh, her looks and her story um how do you use her and what else would you like to see in her story let me know if you if you like this video don't forget to like to subscribe uh, leave a comment below i respond to every single comment that i see don't forget to check out other lore videos that i've created for valeria and um for uh, last as well um, this has been andy event horizon gaming see you guys